the performing arts club is one of the most vibrant if i dare to say the most vibrant club at the raymond gardner high school in fact um we have been invited by almost every single school and event that is taking place we have been invited to perform we were invited to perform at cultural events such as the rick and scrape festival the formal opening usually highlights um, cultural performances from schools and other community entities and we were invited to perform there and um, outside of that the primary schools whenever they're having any event taking place mainly at the horse table beach complex of course <laughs> the performing arts club is called upon we have continued to bring laughter to north Caicos, and i am really just longing to see students think of the performing arts club well or rather the performing arts not just as a club i actually would love for students to see the possibility of making this a career goal a lot of students i believe who are extremely talented the the energies that i know i can get from them it would have been even more heightened if they had the the um the promise of their taking this talent to a higher pav pavilion and that is why i was really pleased when i learned recently that the education department has now introduced as one of the institutions for which scholarships can be granted to students um, one of those institutions is the Edna Manley College of the Visual and Performing Arts in Jamaica because I've always encouraged my student to think of the stage as something that can be part of their lifelong goal. Mr. David Bowen started a dance program and spent quite a number of months working with not just the students of Raymond Gardner High School but with the entire North Caicos community but uh, he was invited to teach dance to the students dance really is not my strongest area and as the coordinator of the performing arts club not much emphasis had been put on dance it's usually um, vocal training and acting those are really my strengths and i've always wanted someone who could assist in teaching dance so i could afford the students a holistic experience gained from the club so mr bowen had been working with the club last year he spent um from february uh, straight into the end of the school year i would say around about june he had been working with with the students of the school and as i said by extension working with North Caicos. In fact, the Department of Culture assisted us tremendously in facilitating a Saturday dance workshop. So every Saturday at the Horse Table Beach Complex, dance classes were held and it was open for anyone from the community to attend. 
we had adults, the classes were growing, everyone was excited, everyone looked forward to the next workshop and it was just absolutely riveting. We learned a lot about cultural dance. Well, I must say I learned a lot. My not being a local, it is always refreshing to learn more about the Turks and Caicos culture and I, I learned so much from those workshops myself. I was able to take what I have learned now and I can continue that in the now school year 2014 to 2015. I can continue that here at the Raymond Garden High School. So I just want to use the opportunity to thank Mr. David Bowen, Director of Culture, and the Department of Culture for all the support that was lent to the RGHS Performing Arts Club. We had um, an award ceremony and the Department of Culture assisted with providing trophies and certificates to award these students. I must say, we have some amazing talent here at RGHS and great things are in store, I'm sure of it. There are levels of dance that you will be mindful of. Okay, use your body. Now, what's so important about the body? It's your body, so what do you need to do with your body? Exactly. It's like any sport. If you are a dancer, most likely, you a professional dancer, you have probably more skills than an athlete who runs or plays basketball or plays softball or whatever. You have more because you are doing things. They only have more like a little grip of doing certain things. Also play up and running up and down, jumping and shooting, and so on. A dancer has a full spectrum of the body. Every angle, every twist, every stretch, every muscle, every joint is engaged. So you need control of your body. So what's the first thing you need to do with the body? Train it. Right? So therefore you have certain skills to train the body. And you can tell a certain type of person who is a dancer just by how they stand, how they move, how they train. Now if you're a ballet dancer, there are certain muscles that you have to train, certain joints. If you're doing a jazz dance, if you're doing a modern dance or a tap dance. So, but the main thing is you have to be flexible. Now why must you be flexible? dances and 
street dancers, you have to be flexible in order to move. So, a lot of you are natural dancers. You all look one and twist up one and the other. Mm -hmm. yeah. Be yeah, because you're young. Because you're young. And then, because the dance that we do these days is really based around the hips mm -hmm. and not so much forward and backward, yeah. you have very loose hips. Yeah. But then, if I ask you a certain dance move, I can guarantee you can't do it. I don't care how good a dancer you are to do dance hall, even the hip hop. So I can give you a few steps and you'll go, oh man, how do you do that? It's because your body has to be trained in a certain way. So, dance is very important in expressing yourself. Outside of acting, it's using the body to convey certain things. So, the dance also will act, and you'll find there are certain dance styles that will use these steps to convey. Reaching and reaching, pulling. You know, I'm sure you can mind doing all this stuff here. You are expressing yourself through movement. It's not just through the face. This year, the Turks and Caicos Stories Board hosted its first youth explosion. This is an annual arts festival which is geared at getting young people to display their creative and original talent pieces. The event took the form of a competition in the areas of dance, poetry, song and costume. Raymond Gardner High School was not able to compete in all areas in light of our hearing of the of the um, of the competition too late and of course we had very little time to prepare the students I was only able to prepare a student for the poetry she did very well in fact I'm really proud of her um, and she placed third at the event. Members of the Performing Arts Club are looking forward to next year's event and of course we expect to enter in all of the areas. That is our aim. I know that we have limited resources. That is always the cry. And in truth, it is really difficult to um, to get sponsorship. I have made attempts and so far the only persons who have sponsored the club in any way is the um, the Sun newspaper started sponsoring the club by um, giving us a, a box of newspapers and whatever proceeds made from the sales of the newspapers that was the assistance given from the sun newspaper unfortunately that um has not been able to continue and we are still seeking sponsorship of course the department of culture continues to lend support and sponsorship also to the club i really have to again applaud the department of culture for all the assistance given it is a challenge to access costume it's a challenge to you know get the set ready it's it's a challenge to get pin on microphones and once we make the call the department has come to our aid on a number of occasions particularly assisting with pin on microphones in october of 2014 we performed at the cotton 
Sponge and Faisal Festival and um, the use of the pin on microphones made our performance far more effective and at this point it is an urgent need for us to get microphones for the club itself so that we can have our own materials when needed. Ha, ha, ha.